Osborn. He just insisted that he had to go into the ring for the opening match where he faced two men. It's a handicap match. Let's go to the ring now and uh, pick up this program. But Big Bubba was pounded by the Zambui Express and the magnificent Zulu into that right shoulder. It gave Bubba a chance not to go out here. I told him he should wait, but it looks like he's going to try it with that injured right shoulder. Well, one of Bubba's uh, best attributes has never been intelligence. Well, now, wait a minute. Bubba is a very nice person. Nice, stupid. But, I mean, what, is, uh, what does that make any difference? You know, here, you told me that Bubba's hurt, and he's wrestling two guys? Right, handicap match. Down goes St. John. Down goes Galvigan. And they both come in for Big Bubba. They got top wrist locks, but they're not going to keep them. There they go again. Yeah. I'll tell you something, Gary Hart. Your million-dollar man, Bruiser Brody, is going to have to face Big Bubba and the Texas Long Rider inside the cage. And even Big Bubba with an injured arm looks pretty dangerous to me. That is not exactly Gary Hart and Bruiser Brody who he's wrestling, but he did just about knock that guy's head off. He almost knocked it off, I and now he it. stacks him. I heard it up here. Look here, 431 pounds, it's one, two, three. You ought to worry about being in that cage. If I wasn't in the cage with Bruiser Brody as my partner, maybe I would be worried. But it well, it seemed at one point in the match that Big Bubba may have re-injured or put a little more injury on that right shoulder. One thing you have to remember, a small injury may turn into a large injury when you get in and start throwing around 200-pound men. We'll have to see what happens to Big Bubba in a weightlifting contest coming up a little later on. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you to the Freeman Coliseum in San Antonio and show you a United States Heavyweight Championship match, Austin Idol defending that title against the Cowboy Scott Casey.